Hey guys, what's up? Zombie Gamer 2.0 here, and today I've set up a little contraption to show a few redstone things that a lot of people may not know about, but they're really helpful. So let's get started. So I'm gonna walk over here and says, "Please do not break the block." And I am really rebellious, and I break it. Yeah, I'm so cool. What? Why is it coming back? Why is it doing? Well, let's go look at why it does this. Okay. So I'm going to do this stuff here. And it's just here to help me show a few examples. So the first one is the test. So this is just a clock here. Anyways, so the first one is test for block. Blah, blah, blah. So what this is doing is testing for a block at these coordinates here. Which are coordinates of one block right here, and then five. So it's testing for a little block, so if I were to take some stone here and go like this and go, go like that, it's kind of nice because it's testing for a Um, yeah. So it's just a little wooden box and nothing that will work. And then what it does is it comes over here and uses this thing I made for wireless redstone. It's really not useful. I could make this less delay, but I added it because this is more for uh, showing something. So this is an easy way of wireless redstone. So I'm going to unhook this right here for now. And unhook this right here. I'm just gonna grab a switch. Okay. So right now what happens is put the switch and the block shows up here. It's a redstone block. And so if I was gonna show this for a while, let's redstone, I would do something like this. So this is an easy way to do one of this redstone. You guys probably saw that when I broke that block and I was coming back, that popped up. And I can turn it off. So all it is, set block at that coordinate, which is the coordinates in there, to 152, which is, as you can see, redstone block. So hit that at least. Now, it's setting the block in the same coordinates to zero. Zero, if you don't know, is air. So if you set anything to zero, it's just setting it to air. And I used a torch to like invert the signal. Pretty easy, okay. So let's review what's going on. Well, it's been done so far. So what's been done so far is it's a test for the block right now. You can see that when there is a block there, it's patterned. But then it's inverted you now. When I break the block, you see the block gets placed. There's a western block, okay? What that does is over here we have another test for block, but it's testing for the coordinates of that redstone block, and it's testing for a redstone block. So I don't actually know where this redstone block exactly spawns. Let's see if I can figure it out here. Okay. So it spawns right there. Okay. So now break that. Okay, here's a redstone block. I put a block back. Okay. You can see if I just put a block here, it doesn't pattern it. Because it's testing for a redstone block. So, this is another thing I wanted to show you guys. I don't really need it here, but I brought it because this is a really easy and small way to send a redstone signal straight up. You can do this as far as you want. Okay. And then what I did up here is I inverted the signal again, and this is set block at the coordinates of that wooden block to 5. Okay, that's at the 2 wooden block. So, what happens? I break the block, it sets this off, turns it off, which powers this, which places a block there. Which, when that block is placed there, that then gets powered, which sends the signal up there, all the way up to here, which places the block here. 
The easier way to do this would be this. Okay. This would be the easiest way to do it. Okay. Okay. This would be a faster and easier way of doing it. Okay. That should be. Anyway, oh, no way it's not working. If we go up to invert the signal here. Okay. I'm gonna send the signal back into this box. So I need some more stuff here. Okay. And this would be the easiest way to do it. Oh, I broke it. Okay. Do you see anything wrong with this? So. Yeah, if there's anything wrong with doing it that way. If you do it that way, this is what can happen. Okay, so they break it. Okay. Break it. If they break it too fast, too many times, it won't spawn again. So the best way to fix that problem, if you wanted to actually do this for, who knows what, is you put a repeater in here. That way there's just a slight delay here. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's all you need. So, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And... If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, anything you can show if this was helpful, and yep, so I know that when I was making this, that set uh, test for block I did not know about, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. So thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, and I will... See you guys later.